Okay, guys. So let's start with review. This is what we learned from last week, right? Present continuous. I am doing. Okay, so we use the continuous for thing happening at or around the time of speaking. The action is not complete. So it happened just around now, and the act, at the time of speaking, the action is still going on, right? You can say, right now, I am teaching English. Okay, right now, you are listening to me. Okay, we are speaking English and using Microsoft Teams, for example. So, have every sentence you have to use with verb ing to be plus verb ing because it is in present continuous as form. Okay, on the other hand, you can look at this present simple. We use it for things in general, thing that happens repeatedly. Okay, you can see in the past, now in the future, something happened again and again, the same thing happened, something true happened, right? It happened in general. It is not referred to the just the time of speaking. Like for example, I said, I get up at seven. So this one get up at seven in general. I don't talk about today. I talk about something that happened in general. If today I would say that I woke up, okay, I woke up at five, for example, okay, because it is already in the past. I I I don't talk about something that happened in general. I'm talking about something that uh, just happened this morning, so I have to use past in Paul. Okay, so look at the example. Uh, the water is boiling. Be careful, all right? Boiling at the time of speaking, you see, wow, the water is boiling. Be careful, don't go near there. Okay, and uh, for present simple, water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. So it's true in the past, it's true now, it's true in the future. All right, listen to those people. What language are they speaking? So you see, happen at the times of speaking. You listen to them and you ask one of your friends, what language are they speaking? So at the time of speaking, it had happened around the time of speaking. Okay. Excuse me, do you speak English? This one do something true, you know, you ask. Excuse me, do you speak Chinese, English or whatever? And we also use uh, the present continuous for temporary situation. Thing that continue for short time, not for long time. Okay. And uh, for the present simple, for permanent situations, thing that continue for long time. So present continuous, short time, and present simple, long time. That is a different. So long time, you can see past, now, future. But this one, short time. Okay, okay so look at example. Okay, your friend is John. I am living with some friends until I find a place of my own. You don't live with your friend forever. Just live with your friend for some times. You know, when you find your own house or a place on your own, and then you're going to move out. All right. And please look at, at the example of present simple here. My parents live in London. They have lived there all their life. So this one talk about times, things that continue for a long time. Okay, so this is our review from last week. And uh, we also complete this exercise, remember? Hopefully you review the lessons. All right, we already finished it. I've also finished this exercise together from last week. And today we are going to this exercise. Okay, put the verbs in the correct forms, present continuous or present simple. All right, uh, look at number one together. Why are, why are all these people here? So you see at the time of, asking question or speaking the question. So we have to do present continuous. What happening? Okay, number two and number three, let's do together. Julie is good at languages. She speak four languages very well. So present simple or present continuous? Say it on. Present simple, teacher. Why? 
because um she can speak uh for uh, she can speak for language very well so it is true right talk about something which is true for julia julia okay so you are right she speaks yes. for languages very well okay now let's do number three one more as an example for you are you ready yet for you uh so me Present continuous. Present continuous. So can you read? Can you read Are the you whole? Ready? Yeah. Done. Everybody waiting for you. Everybody's with I right? Everybody is or everybody's waiting for you. Okay, everybody's waiting for you. Thank you very much. Okay, right now I want you to do this exercise by yourself. You don't have this exercise in your textbook, okay? Okay, please just write the answer in your notebook. And I think you can have around um, five minutes for this exercise. We will check the answer together at uh, 731. Okay, let's do it by yourself. If you have a question, you can ask me. Three more minutes.
All right, now time is up. Let's check the answer together, everyone. Okay, now we can start number four with Srengi. Okay, Srengi, number four, please. Number four. I never heard this word. How pronounce it? How pronounce? This is question. How do, right? How do you pronounce it? Okay. How okay. do you pronounce it? Okay. Uh, do a small, small d. All right, number five, come san. Cut. Uh, uh, Kathy isn't working this morning. She's on holiday. Okay, so thing happened for a short time. Cat isn't working this week. She's on holiday. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you. Number six, please. Thank you, right? <laughs> oh, what did you do? Five minutes. Okay, Lightwood, number six, please. I think my English improves slowly. It's better than it was. It is, it is uh, true or it is just happening? Oh, my, I okay. think my English is improving slowly. It's okay. better than it was. Thank you very much. Okay, now number seven, uh, Namui. Na, okay. My sister, she has never left anywhere else. Okay, this one will you present St. Paul because something that happened for a long time, right? Nicholas lives in Manchester. So he's never lived anywhere else. Number eight, Nimol. Yeah, no answer from Nimol. So Linda. Okay, okay, Nimol number eight. Can we stop working soon? I am start starting to get tired. Very good. Can you stop walking soon? I'm starting to get tired. All right. Okay. Number nine, Linda. Mm -hmm. Some some animals are in Madrid right now. They visited a friend of this they visited uh, this one only presents in Paul and present continue us they are visiting right thing not it right okay they're visiting our friends out there thank you Linda okay now number 10 Ramon Ramon sorry what do your father what do or what does what does what does your father do right he's an architect okay number 11 kim lai uh, it's it took me and home to get to work this morning most day it is not take uh, so long it doesn't take so long most day it doesn't take so long okay number 12 i'm learning to drive my driving test is next month my father is teaching me i would like to read for you again everyone please pay attention especially to the pronunciation all right Number one, why are all these people here? What happening? Number two, Julie is good at languages. She speaks four languages very well. Number three, are you ready yet? Everybody is waiting for you. Number four, I've never heard this word. How do you pronounce it? Number five, Kate isn't working this week. She's on holiday. 
Number six, I think my English is improving. It's better than it was. Number seven, Nicola lives in Manchester. She has never lived anywhere else. Number eight, can we stop working soon? I'm starting to get tired. Number nine, Sam and Tina are in Madrid right now. They are visiting a friend of theirs. Number ten, what does your father do? Okay, D, small D, not big D. He's an architect. Number 11, it took me an hour to get to work, not home, come uh, lie, an hour. It took me an hour to get to work this morning. Most days it doesn't take so long. Number 12, I'm learning to drive. My driving test is next month. My father is teaching me. Okay, now if I would like to ask Ray Rod to read again, please, number 1 till number 12. Then we can move on. One. Why, why are all these people here? What's happening? Two, Julie is good at language. She speaks four languages very well. Three, are you ready yet? Everybody, everybody's waiting for you. Four, I never heard this word. How do you pronounce it? Number six, I think my English is improving. Slowly, it's better than it was. Seven, Nicola. Please, in Manchester, she has never lived anywhere else. Number eight, can you stop walking soon and starting to get tired. Number nine, Sam and Tina are in Madrid right now. That's with ten friends of theirs. Number ten, what does your father do? He's an architect. Number eleven, it took me an hour to get to work this morning. Mostly, it doesn't take so long. Number 12, I'm learning to drive. My driving test is next man. My father is teaching me. Thanks for the chat. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, not improving, improving, okay? Improving, improve, not improve. Okay, now if we can continue to the next one. If you have a question, you can ask. All right, if you're done, we can go to the next one. So this one, work in pay and discuss these questions you have you don't need to work in pair you can work alone so we have four questions here all the four questions are very easy question number one how many hours a day do you spend on the phone okay how many hours a day do you spend on the phone number two do you answer calls from work in the evening or at the weekend is that if you study or if you work? So in the evening is your free times and uh, at the weekend also your free times. Do you answer call from your company, from your school or from any place? OK. Number three, do you take your mobile phone on holiday with you? So when you are going on holiday, like you go to Simri, Rotanakiri or other countries, do you uh take a phone with you okay number four are you planning a holiday at the moment you're planning to go anywhere else okay now before i let you do this by yourself let's look at my my same paul answer number one i spend two hours a day on the phone mostly i watch youtube on it i watch i watch video you know okay i like to watch videos on youtube's it is my favorite uh, apps and my favorites. A lot of my of my favorite videos. So sometimes I keep watching again and again same video. And number two, um, yes, I do. I don't mind answering the phone during my free times because if they call me during my free times, there may be something important that I have to know, or maybe something involving me to solve the the uh, emerging problem, urgent problem. And uh, number three. Do you take your mobile phone on holiday with you? Yes, I do. It's extremely important when I am in danger. I uh, have problem with my car or with, I mean, I got into accidents or have problem with anything else, or I can make a call to my friends or to anyone who can come and help me. It is helpful. Number four. Uh, yes, I am. I plan to visit uh, Indonesia with my families after COVID-19. Okay, so right now, I don't want you to read my 
the question and the answer because I know this question is very easy for you, but I want you to answer by yourself. Please answer all the questions. I want you to write the answer in your notebook again. So I think maybe this one five minutes is enough for you. OK. OK, try to keep yourself to the time. So five minutes and we will check the answer together at um, 748. Oh, sorry, 746. OK, everyone, please write the answer in the notebook. And at 746, I will call some of you to answer the questions. All right, please do it right, right now. If you have a question, you can ask me. If you're done, please do it quietly.
Okay, everyone, now the time is up. Uh, I want to, so when I call your name, I want you to read the question and then give me the answer. All right. Okay, now question number one, Mr. Lai Hood. Um, how many hours a day do you spend on the phone? I normally spend eight hours on my phone every day um, to chat with my friends and family and watch some YouTube videos. Uh, this one you don't talk about your study eight hours a day, right? No, oh, I spend every day. You spend every day like that. Okay, yes. so if today you study, you spend 11 hours then. Yes, exactly. Wow, eight hours a day. Can you can 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 you stop doing it? I mean, if you have a job to do or doing something else, if you have something to do, you you do it. But if you have nothing to do, you're gonna use your phone, correct? Yes, sir. Sure. Okay. All right. Thank you. And now, thank you. Number two, please. Do you answer calls? from work in the evening or at the work? No, I don't. No, I don't. Give the reason. Why? Uh, because uh, at evening, uh, we can uh, have a lot of work to do. So. Uh, in the evening and at the at weekend, you have a lot of work to do. Actually, yeah. that would be a relaxing time. Why you have a lot of work to do? You mean a lot of work to do with your family or what? With family. Ah, oh, with family. Yeah. So don't don't say a lot of work. You say that uh, I have to spend time with my family. So just say something like that. Okay. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Right. Thank you very much. And uh, Sringi, number three, please. Number three. Do you take your mobile phone on holiday with you? Yes, I do. It's helpful when I am scary. When you are scary, so when you are scary, you do selfie. <laughs> or what? <laughs> what? What do you mean scary here? When you are scary, what? Sing it. You use your yeah, phone for fun. When you are scary, you use your phone for what? Take picture. Oh, you are scary, you will use your phone to take pictures. Oh. <laughs> okay, yeah, thank you. That's okay. That is your answer. All right, and now I want to hear from uh, Submit. Question number four, please. Are you planning a holiday at the moment? Yes, I am. I plan to visit at Thailand with my family after um, COVID-19. Okay, uh, I plan to visit Thailand, not I plan to visit at Thailand. Okay, visit without at. Okay, so need? All right. Yes, sure. Thank you very much. Yes, I am. I plan to visit Thailand with my family. Okay, so this is just the introduction to what we are going to study. And uh, thank you for your answer. Okay, now let's look at our uh, main exercise here. So vocation at work. But before we read that one, we have to go to the question first. So the question, read the article about a new tie for holiday. Are these statements true or false? So if they are false, you have to correct the false statements. All right. OK, so we have we have four, four statements. Number one, number two, three and four. Now look at number one together. Reasons are ways so that people want to spend more time using technology. Okay? People want to spend more time using technology. Number two, in some hotels, guests are not allowed to use their mobile phones. Okay. Number three, mobile phones cannot be used on any beaches in Andega. Right? Cannot use there. Number four, one resort guest seeing that banning mobile phone is a good thing. Okay, and for this, I would like to ask. Um, okay, come Sam, I want you to read again. Number one until number four. A recent 
so why so that people want to spend more time using technology too. In some hotels, guests are not allowed to use their fo mobile phones. Three, mobile phones cannot be used on any beaches in Antigua. Mm -hmm. Four, one resort guest think that banning mobile phones is a good thing. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, right now, you have to read the article and check the statement, true or false. If they are false, correct them. So we have to read this one, vocation at work, and then check this one, true or false. And uh, now I want you to do this exercise by yourself first. I want you to spend around five minutes, all right, reading the text by yourself. Do the exercise through a fall, and after that, we check the answer together. Then we're going to come back and practice reading together, all right? So right now, I think I can give you five minutes uh, to read and do the exercise by yourself. And we're going to check the answer together at um, 7.57. Okay, guys, please do it right now. Uh, do you have textbook, everyone? Yes, I have. Okay, if you have textbook, then it's good. I don't need to send you any page. You just read and do it. Oh, but in case you don't have, you can go to your Telegram. I'm going to send you the page that we are learning today.
Okay, so now uh, so 158. We can check the answer together. All right. So we have uh, number one. The uh, reasons away show that people want to spend more time using technology. Is it true or false, everyone? False. False. So what is the true one? What is? The reasons away show that. The uh, average adult spend over five hours online each day. Is it online each day? Mean more time. Five hours is a lot, you know. Okay. Uh, number one, false. People want time without technology. In Cambodia, it is correct, right? People want time with with with. Uh, people want to spend more time with technologies because every adult, even the kids right now, they are using their phones. Most of the times, they cannot live without phone, without internet. Some people get stressed because they don't have the internet to use, watch YouTube and go on their their Facebook. But in other countries like the Western here, like England, United States, people now want time without technology so that they can focus on their families, on their relaxation. Okay, number two, in some hotels, guests are not allowed to use their mobile phone. True or false? Thank uh, you, you said again, I could not hear from you, the two, what is it? <laughs> true. <laughs> yeah, I speak, I could not hear from the two like that, so <laughs> true, <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. True. Number three, mobile phone cannot be used on any beaches in Antigal. Yep. True or false? No answer? True. True. Actually, it is false. A group of resorts in Antigal. Grenada and East Lucia have banned mobile phone from their beach. But if you read from the text, it is, yeah, it is true, but it referred only, only you know, beaches in Antigua, but actually more, more than that, not only Antigua. And number four, number four one resort guest thinks that banning mobile phones is a good thing. Yep. Hello, everyone. Oh. So, number four. True. Number four, true. Okay. True. Thank you very much. Number four is true. Okay. So, now we finish with the exercise. We can go back and practice reading together. All right. Okay. Now, re practice reading this one together. Let me clean up uh, the board first. All right. Okay, now here we go. Vocation at work. I'm reading for you and then I will call some of you to read out. Vocations at work. Uh, reasons away shows that the average adults spend over five hours online each day. Another survey suggests that the numbers of hours we spend on the phone is increasing by about 30% a year. Research also shows that 77% of people believe that time without technology makes them a better person and give them more time for their loved ones. As a result, some hotels are offering offline holidays. When guests check in, they hand in all the digital devices and the hotel puts them in a the safe place. In the rooms, there are no television, phones, or Wi-Fi connections. Instead, there are books and board games. One manager says, we are hoping that guests will get their work and concentrate on having a good time. A group of resorts in Andegao, Grenada, and SD Loser 
have banned mobile phone from their bridges. How are the guest reaction? One guest commented, my husband usually has his smartphone with him 24 hours per week, and he always checks his Facebook page. Today, he's reading a real book. He's not sending any email, and we are both learning self. In the sea, I mean. We are having a great time just relaxing. Okay, so I would like to ask. Okay, I think Mr. Kamhok, can you read again, please? Vocation at work. A recent survey showed that the average adults spend over five hours online each day. Another survey suggests that the number of hours we spend on the phone is increasing by about 30% a year. Research also showed that 27% of people believe that time without technology make them a better person and give them more time for their loved one. As a result, some hotels are offering offline holidays. When guests check in, they hand in all their digital device and the hotel put them in a safe. In the room, there are no television, phone, or Wi-Fi connection. Instead, there are books and board games. One manager said, we are hoping that guests forget work and concentrate on having a good time. A group of resorts in Antigua, Grenada, and ST Lucia have banned mobile phones from the beach. How are the guests' reaction? One guest commented, My husband usually has his smartphone with him 24-7 and he always checks his Facebook page. Today he's reading a real book. He's not sending any email and we're both learning stuff. In the sea, I mean, we are having a great time just relaxing. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. All right, so... Do you have any difficult word on this reading? Everyone? Not sure. No? Wow. Very smart. Okay, so if no question, I will ask someone to read again. So, thank you. Can you read again, please? A recent week saw that the uh, over average one over five half online each day. Another survey suggests that the number of half is spent on the phone in uh, increasing by about uh, thirty a year. Research also also show that 77 of people believe that time without uh, technologies make them a better person and give them more time of their loved one. As a result, some hotels are offer, offering often offline holiday when guests check in they have uh, they had in their uh, deli uh, what the, their digital devices. The digital devices and the whole hotel put them in the set in uh, the room. The room there are uh, there are no television, phone, or Wi-Fi connection. In uh, instead, there are book uh, and what what game. One manager says we uh, we are hoping that success forget uh, work and uh, context con concentrate on having a good time. A group of uh, resorts in Antita, Granada, Granada and ST Lucy's have managed mobile phone from their uh, beaches. How are the guests recent? One guest comment. My husband usually has his import uh, smartphone with him 20 or uh, 24 so when and he's always check his Facebook page today he reading a real book in he's not he's not spending any email and we are both uh, we are both learning so in the sea, I mean, we are having a great time just relaxing. Okay, thank you very much. All right, 
So if you don't have any difficult word, we're going to go to the next one. All right. Anyway, I can read for you again because I feel like uh, for Mr. Kamhok is OK, but for some other students, I think you need to listen again and pay attention to the pronunciation. A recent survey shows that the average adult spends over five hours online each day. Another survey suggests that the numbers of hours we spend on the phone is increasing by about 30 percent a year. Research also shows that 77 percent of people believe that time without technology makes them a better person and gives them more time for their loved ones. As a result, some hotels are offering offline holidays. When guests check in, they hand in all the digital devices and the hotel put them in the safe place. In the room, there are no television, phones or Wi-Fi connections. Instead, there are books and board games. One manager says, we are hoping that guests will get the work and concentrate on having a good time. A group of resorts in Andegaf, Grenada and Estee Lucia have banned mobile phone from the beaches. How was the guest reaction? One guest commented, my husband usually has his smartphone with him 24 hours per week. And he always check his Facebook page. Today he's reading a real book. He's not sending any email. We are both having a learning to surf in the sea. I mean, we are having a great time just relaxing. Okay, now if you don't have questions, let's go to the next one. Okay, so now we are on number nine questions. Would you like to stay in an offline holiday, a hotel or resort? Give your reason. Okay. Offline means no internet, no phone. Everything just like you are uh, at somewhere without technology. You just spend time with your family. So look at my answer here. Yes, I would. I think I can focus more on my family and relaxation. Pay attention to them, spend time with them, play together, talk more, okay, uh, with my family. OK, right now I want you to spend around three minutes. I want you to answer the question here by yourself. So this one three minutes for you. OK, minutes and uh, we check the answer at 8.13. OK, please do it by yourself. Hopefully you write the answer in the notebook. Okay, uh, thank you. Uh, I just want you to answer question number nine by yourself. You can look at my answer here as an example. And you have three minutes, okay? Okay, thank you. Yes, sir. Okay, 8.14. You are so funny. Hmm. Uh, we check attendance first. Uh, okay. Today is 23rd. So King up sun today. Yeah, so King up sun again. And uh, Bun King also up sun. So the knee is here. Come here. Come also not here. And the Alita also not here. Come Lin. Okay, Come Lin is here. Come Lin last week up sun. Okay, Kamsan also here. Kamhok also here. Ni Ratana. Ni Sukhnir. Thank you here. Lisi. Lisi absent. Rat Re absent. Sri Rat Raymon. Sawai absent. Laihur is here. Namui is here. Namui last week permission. 
Ini mall isi ya. Kemlai last week also permission. Okay. One more minute. We're gonna check the answer. Okay, now time is up. Let's take the answer together. Uh, I think uh, I would like to call Mr. Lightwood to answer the question. Please read the question and then give the answer. Yes, sir. Um, would you like to stay in an offline hotel or resort? Give you reasons. Uh, Usual, actually, yeah. Yes, I definitely would. It is always true that um, life without internet is a bit difficult, but if I have a great time with my family for short periods of time, I would definitely do it. Yeah, okay, would definitely do it. Uh, sometimes, you know, when we have phone, even at home, we don't talk to each other. We're just holding our phones and do something with it <laughs> rather than talking to our beloved one. Okay, thank you, Mr. Lee Hood and uh, Lighthood and uh, Namoy, please read the question and give the answer. Mm. Okay, now uh, Ramon. Ramon. Hello? Who you like to stay in an offline? Off Hotel or resort. Kill your reason. Yes, I. I would. I think I can put more on the family. Andre, okay, thank you very much. Okay, this question is very simple, and uh, I think we don't need to spend more time on it. Then we can continue to the next one. All right, next one here, vocabulary, social networks and the Internet. So now we are talking about social network and the Internet. All right. So when we talk about social network, what do you know about it? There are apps, applications that you always visit, you know, every day, every time, like Facebook, right? Part of social network or social media, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, what else do you know? TikTok, <laughs> right? Snapchat. So there's a lot. So we have some question for you as well. You can look at question number one here. Do you use social networks in your free time? What do you use them for? Okay. Question number two. If you don't use social networks, have you ever been asked to join one? Why do you say no? Okay, let's look at my example answer. Yes, I do. I use for entertainment and connecting with 
friends and family members, especially with those who live very far from me. So at home, I rarely use my phone. You know, I use it when I am in my bed alone. But uh, if I am with my family, I don't use my phone because I can talk to them directly. But I use my phones whenever I want to communicate with those who are live very far from me. Some of my relatives, uh, they are from other provinces. Uh, some are from different districts, so we cannot talk to each other directly. We have to use the phone or social media. And now social media is cheaper, so I, you know, call them using Facebook Messenger sometimes. Now, even our class, we use uh, Microsoft Teams. So we can talk to each other yeah, from here rather than to come and talk in the class yeah, because of the pressure of COVID-19. Number two, uh, because I don't want to get involved, sometimes notification are annoying, you know. So when I was a student like you guys and I um, had to do assignments and my classmates said that, okay, we should have a group. I mean, we have group like Telegram group and other things. And then at that time, I did not use Telegram, you know. I use only Facebook and email. And then one of my group members said that we should have groups on Telegram. And I said, no, no, I don't want. Please just make it on uh, Facebook Messenger because I don't want to get a lot of notification. It's so confusing. Right? That, that was the, the thing that I said to them last time. But right now I have Telegram, I have everything because I have no choice. <laughs> if we have choice, we need to have only one. That's enough, right? Just, just like phone number, I have only one. That is enough. We need to have a lot. But sometimes, you know, we cannot make our own choice because we're living in the world. Uh, people and people have different way of life, so we have to adapt ourselves to that. OK, for this, I don't want you to do it by yourself. I think your answer is going to be not much different from me. Anyway, I would like you to read the question and the answer before we continue to the next one. So I want to ask Kamsan, read the question and the answer, please, before we move on. Number one, do you use social networks in your free time? What do you use for them? How use them for? Uh, yes, I do. I use it for in entertainment. Uh, read your answer. Yes, yeah, you read my answer. No need to do it. Yes, I do. I use it for entertainment and connecting with friends and family members. Two, so if you do. If you don't use social networks, have you ever been asked to join one? Why did you say no? Uh, because I don't want to get involved. Sometimes notifications are annoying. All right, thank you very much. So we can move on to the next one. This one step by step guide on how to use our site. So I will say here, we don't know. This is also one social media, but it is not Facebook. It's similar to Facebook anyway. So we're going to learn and read all together. So let me uh, change some word first. Uh, I think we have this one, the word, this one post, okay, not pass. And we have the word, this one must be in uh, blue. So the word blue here, I will highlight this one in blue, okay? Oh, cannot see. I will highlight this word for you. This, this word are in blue. So because your book is black and white, you may not see it. You can underline them, everyone. So we have 10 words that are in blue. So I will underline it, uh, highlight it for you. Uh, we have a log in, we have click, what else? Can you help me? Okay, we have link here. We have the word update. We have the word chat. What else? Upload. Is it 10 word now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Where is one more? Oh, we have only 9. Sorry. Okay. So now we learn how to read together. Uh, reading for you first, right? Step by step. Guide on how to use our site. Setting up your account. After you have registered your details with us, 
will send you a login by email. This will include a username and password. The first time you log in, you need to enter these details. If you want to change your username or password, click settings on the main menu. A drop down menu will appear. Click on change username and password, and you can then change your details. You can also link your email address or Facebook account to your home page, so you receive regular updates. Using your account, managing your contacts list. On your home page, you will see a friend panel that shows your current contacts. You can add new contacts at any time. An icon on their photos will tell you if they are online at, at the moment or Sorry, so you can chat with them. We'll also update you on any new information that they add to their profile page. Adding information to your web page. If you go into the files menu and select add files, you can upload photos and videos from your home computer onto the site. You can create folders and save your profiles into this. If you click on shares, your contact list can then access folders too and can download the files from your folders. Blog and comments. If you want to post a blog entry or comments on someone else's site, just type in the comment box at the bottom of the screen and then click post comment. It couldn't be simpler. Actually, this one is similar to Facebook or it can be Facebook. Same thing, right? Update, log in or anything else. Okay, now I want to get volunteer who want to read. Nowadays it is hard to find volunteer. Eh? Hello? Anyone volunteer? Hello? <laughs> okay. I will call uh, Stray Dot. I think Stray Dot is good at reading. Say not please. Read it again. Stop by stop by stop guide on how to use our site. Setting up your account after you have to after you have registered your detail with us, we will send you a login by email. This will include a username and password. The first time you log in, you need to enter these details. If you want to change your username or password. Click the things on the main menu. A drop down menu will, will appear. Click on change username and password and you can then and you can then change your details. You can also link your email address or Facebook account to your home page so you receive regular updates. Continue. Yes, please. Using your account. Managing your contact list. On your home page, you will see a friend's panel list. Their mm -hmm. portal will tell you if they are online at the moment, so you can chat them. We, we also update you on any new information that they add to their profile page. Adding information to your web, web page. If you go into the file menu and select at first, you can upload photos and videos from your home computer onto the site. You can grab, you can create folders and sell your file into this. If you click on share, your contacts can then access these folders too and can download the file from your folders. Blocks and comments. If you want to post a blog in three or comment, on someone else's site, just type in the comment box at, at the bottom of the screen and then click post comments. It could then be simpler. Okay, thank you very much. Very good. Right now, uh, if you have any difficult word, you can ask me, but uh, I don't uh, have you with the highlighted ones. The rest, okay, if you have problems. Any word you want me to help you, everyone?
Hello? Yes or no? Right. No yes, no, no, right? Come help, any questions? No, sir. Okay, have to ask one by one like that. Okay, now. Uh, thank you. Questions? Uh, yeah. Uh, no. I mean, uh, spread panel. What does it mean? Uh, spread panels. Uh, okay, I will show you example. Okay. I will go to my Facebook. Oh, Mr. Okay, my Facebook. Uh, all right, so friends panel, if you, you come here, you can see here. Here, friend panels. So when you click on friends here, you see all your friends. That is called friend panels. Okay? It's main show all friends. Okay. Yeah, the place where you can show all your friends there. That is called friends panels. Okay, now, finish. All right, if you don't have, okay, let's continue. Okay, that is friend panels. What else do you have? That's all. Okay, if you don't have any questions, I want you to uh, underline the word login, click, link, chat, update, Upload, access, download, and post here, right in your textbook. Okay, already. So we read again together. Log in, click, link, chat, update, upload, access, download, and post. Already, guys. Okay. Uh, uh, so, Nid, I want you to read the highlighted words again, please. Here, start with here. Log in, click, link, chat, upload, access, down, download, upload, post. Update. update, you missed one update, not upload. Upload here, update, okay? Okay, so we do this exercise together and then we can have a break. Let's do them together. So we have number one until number nine here. They want you to match the word in blues to the meaning one to nine. Number one, to give most recent information about someone or something on the book page. What is it? Most recent. So anyone, if you have the answer, please help me. Number one, what is it? Update. Okay, very good. Update, update, most recent. Update means you give new information. Number two, to choose an item on a computer screen by pressing one of the buttons on a mouse. So you 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 do something on a mouse, press on a mouse. What do we say? What is it? Click. 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 All right, easy, very easy. Okay, now number three until number nine, I want you to do it by yourself in four minutes. Okay? So we will check the answer at 8.35. At 85, we check the answer, then we can have a break. Now, do the exercise first. Look, Rose, I'm going to ask you 
Okay. This one? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I will screenshot for you. Uh, you can check it on your Telegram. Uh, okay. Speak English, all right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, speak English. PT, okay, thank you. Okay, now we have one more minute. Okay, now time is up. Let's check the answer together. Number three, to, to, you, if you have the answer, just give me, right? To enter your name or password to start using a website. Log in. Log in. Number three, to exchange messages with someone on the internet. Chat. Chat. Number five, Chat. to copy your move files from your computer or to a website. Access. Access. Okay, very good. Okay, number six, to connect one web page to another web page of files. Upload. Up, no, link, okay, not upload, to connect. <laughs> okay, number seven, to copy of files from website onto your computer. This one is? Download. Okay, download. Number eight, to put a text or image on a web page so that other people can see it. Post. 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 And the last one is access. Okay, now I want to read for you again. Number one, read. you have to listen to me because after that I will ask one student to read before we have a break. Number one, update. To give the most recent information about someone or something on the web page. Number two, click to choose an item on a computer screen by pressing one of the bottom on a mouse. Number three, log in. To enter your names and password to start using a website. Number four, chat. To exchange messages with someone on the internet. Number five, upload. To copy or move a files from your computer onto a website. Number six, link. To connect one web page to another web page so, or to a file. Number seven, download to copy or move a file from a website onto your computer. Number eight, post to put a text or image on a web page so that other people can see it. Number nine, access to open the files on a web page to get or to, 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 to see information. Okay, for this one, anyone volunteer to read? Hello, volunteer? Hello. Okay. Wait, I, I, oh, say okay. Say it out again. So okay. So can you you can read please? Want to get the most recent information about some or something on the web page? Update to to choose an item on the computer screen by pressing of uh, one of the buttons on the uh, on the mouse. Click. Three, to enter your name and password to start using a website. Log in. Four, 
to attack messages with someone on the internet chat try to copy or move a file from your computer on onto a website up, upload that's to connect one web page to another web page or to a file link they want to copy or move a file from a web site onto your computer download it to put a text or image on the web page so that other people can see it post plan to open to op open a file on a web page to get all the information access all right thank you very much right now you can enjoy your break we're gonna come back at nine tons okay everyone nine yes teacher tons so see you bye bye for now thank you welcome anyway thank you teacher yes all right see you at nine tons you can leave my thoughts now everyone